Okay, so this is a very quick example of how to do a joint variation question. This is going to go in the revision playlist. Uh, it's going to be part of your revision for the test that's coming up. So we'll get an example in joint variation. All right, guys. So we have. I'll read it out for you. You can pause it and zoom in and copy it if you like. Okay. So we've got the volume V of a given mass of gas varies as the absolute temperature T and inversely as the pressure P of the gas at temperature 352 K. That stands for Kelvin, which is a unit of temperature, and pressure 730 millimetres of mercury. The volume is 440 centimetres cubed. Now that's a lot of units, there's a lot of information, right? But we're going to break that down in a little minute. So, find a formula for V. So, first thing we have to do is we have to write down our variation statement. So, it says the volume V of a mass of gas varies as the absolute temperature T and inversely as the pressure P. So, that means it varies directly as the temperature T and inversely as P. Right? So that's our variation statement. If we want to find a formula for V, then we have to take into account this. And that means that volume is equal to a constant times the temperature over pressure. And we now need to find out what that constant is. Right? So we've got some information. So we've got T is 352 P is 730 and V for a particular mass of gas is 440. So what we've got to do is we've got to substitute this information right, into our formula then the only thing we're not going to know is K which is going to allow us to solve for that. All right? So we have 440 equals K times 352 divided by 730 and when we work all that out, right, so you can break that down, work all that out, we get an answer for K of 912.5. So that is our constant, right? So our formula then is simply going to be V equals 912.5 times temperature over P. So here we have... Uh, formula. Now, next it says part B. Find V when the temperature is 308 Kelvin, so remember K for Kelvin, and the pressure is 850 millimetres of mercury. Remember HG from chemistry, that stands for mercury, that's a unit of pressure as well. So if we look at B, that's going to be nice and quick. So we're using our formula, which is 912.5 T over P. Our total temperature in this case is 308. So the pressure is 850. So we take our calculators out, put the information in, we work out uh, the calculation and we get an answer of 330 centimetres cubed. Okay, so let's go through one more time. We are given our variation statement, so it says the volume V of a given mass of gas varies. Remember, varies just means varies directly, as you don't necessarily have to say varies directly. Just varies is okay, and that means direct variation. As the temperature T, that's why the T is on the top, and inversely as the pressure P. Remember, if it's inverse, it's 1 over, all right? But in this case, we're just going to put the P on the bottom. We looked at that in detail in class, why that happened. At temperature 352, so... After the first sentence, we're given information, which is this information here. And all I've done is I've broken down the second sentence of information into just exactly what that's given us. It's given us the three variables for one situation, allowing us to work out K. So our K value is 912.5. Please try that and make sure you get it. Well, um, make sure you get 912.5. If you want me to break down that process for you, I will do. I'm just going through that quickly for time. So that's our relationship, okay, the formula for V is 912.5 times T all over P. And then I'm using that formula in part B to actually figure out a different temperature and pressure. Okay, so that's a, problem, uh, a wee example of joint variation. I hope that was okay and I hope that you understood it. Right, and if you didn't, please see me in class, okay? Cheerio.